We want to start with a suicide at the Cascade County Jail that left some people with questions. How could that happen? I spoke with Sheriff Jesse Slaughter to get some answers. We are not a, a Warm Springs or a facility like that that is equipped to deal with people suffering from um, issues. Alicia May Kempa had a documented history of mental illness. At the time of her death, she was being held at the Cascade County Detention Center after an arrest for felony theft. She was awaiting transport to the Montana State Hospital after a commitment order was signed by a judge on August 29th. While Sheriff Jesse Slaughter wouldn't comment on the ongoing investigation to the matter, he did say his staff did everything they could. Slaughter says his team undergoes crisis intervention training to help recognize mental health issues. These are deputy sheriffs, uh, sometimes with only a high school diploma. Uh, some of them have college, but they don't have they're not mental health professionals. And we're trying to get into the crisis management uh, team system uh, where we are bringing those people out with us into the field and we're also bringing them into the jail. Even with the training, Slaughter says a detention center staff shortage and lack of state mental health facilities make the challenges greater. It's not enough. Um, it's just simply not enough. There's always, there's always going to be people who you can't get to in time. I mean, it only takes a few moments for someone to, to commit the ultimate act. Slaughter says an upcoming public safety levy will include pretrial services, which could help in preventing an incident like Kempa's from happening again. A pretrial service would likely keep a person who's suffering from mental illness out of the facility. It would put them on a scram monitoring bracelet and keep them in the community, going to their appointments, getting treatment. We do need to create other alternatives. I'm very aware of it. The jail is not the appropriate place for people suffering from mental illness. According to the National Alliance on Mental Health, one in five U.S. adults experience mental illness each, uh, each year. One in 20 experience serious mental illness each year. And one in six U.S. youth ages 6 to 17 experience a mental health disorder each year. 50% of all lifetime mental illness begins by age 14 and 75% by age 24. Suicide is the second leading cause of death among people aged 10 to 34. If you or someone you know is experiencing a mental health crisis, call or text 988 immediately.